but because it's something that become comes less naturally to me um i've I've procrastinated on that this front on that front this week because I've decided like okay we're coming into 2021 what are the things that I need to do to make sure that I have not just a good year but I set myself up for life as well you know I started mm-hmm. to set myself up for life and uh, I've been lucky enough where my clients have always trusted me with referrals but um, I've never really generated cold leads so that's a step for me that I want to take and I'm like okay how do I do that how do I do that best? So I need to start looking into that. I want to, uh, I'm, I'm looking, I'm, again, I'm reevaluating what my business is and who it's for and coming up with my principles, my business core values and, um, and the kind of people that I work with and deal with and like really articulating that so I understand my market as deeply as I possibly can and then go and take that information and be like, okay, well, this is the kind of person who I need to target and and these are the kind of people who I know I can help, and I'm certain I can help if I if I bring them into my into my program. And um, but I've procrastinated on it because it's just something that's harder for me to 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 do. So I get to a certain point in the day. It's usually late afternoon, and I'm like, I haven't done my business stuff yet. I've done mm-hmm. other things, but I haven't done my business stuff, and I get this agitation that's building up inside me. I'm like, for fuck's sake, man, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you doing this work? You know you need to do this work. And and then what I really want to do is get to about seven o'clock in the afternoon, in, in the evening, and just start chilling out and just winding down, read a little bit, go to bed, do the next day. But instead, what I've been doing is starting to work at about six, uh, six to six thirty or something, and mm. then doing that for a few hours till about nine thirty, ten o'clock, and. Um, and I've, and I've just been pissed off in my head. I'm like, why? You know, your evening's supposed to be a bit more wind down time. Like now instead you're dedicating this time to uh, do this because you didn't do it earlier in the day. And mm. then it happened Tuesday. And then it happened Wednesday. And then it happened yesterday. But yesterday was the day where I just hit me because it's a pattern now. And I'm like, you know what? Actually be fine with it. Be okay with it. Because there's one thing procrastinating, feeling that agitation, do the work and then not doing the work. But I'm procrastinating, I'm feeling the agitation to do the work, and I am doing the work. Mm. That is better than not doing it at all, yeah. you know. So, and I'm like, just be with it, just live with it, and be okay with that, and use that. And you're doing right now, you're feeling like you're hitting a bit of a flow state between 6.30 and 9.30 in the evening, fine. Just run with it. Eventually, the more of a habit you build of actually doing this work for your business on a day-to-day basis, you're going to start to bring that forward it will Mm. start to become a little bit more natural to work at an earlier part of the day and feel more productive and then recover your evenings like that so don't worry about it just embrace it take it don't don't uh, resist it don't get that agitation just be like all right well this is what i'm doing right now and then eventually it will just it will probably get better and so um that's where procrastinating brown came from and actually the point here that i'm making is, is like using I'm using that procrastination in my favor, you know, mm. I because usually we look at procrastination being like, fuck, this is an awful thing. This is a bad thing. I shouldn't be wasting my time. Why am I wasting my time? Why am I wasting my time? And I've realized why I'm wasting my time because uh, in, in this sense, because I'm just not as comfortable dealing with uh, in business stuff. And I feel like a child relative to how I am in fitness and health and stuff where, you know, I'm always learning about that thing i'm always putting myself into it because i've just built up a habit of doing that as well as it being my curiosity Mm. now the business side of things to take it to the next level is a new curiosity and is uh, something that i'm new at so i have to build up the habit and build up the um, routine to really focus on it properly and uh, and so instead of looking at procrastination being like this is bad literally yesterday i flipped it and i was like what's good about this it's like well Mm. i'm still doing the work yeah i am still doing something about it and and that made me feel a lot better about the whole thing so there's basically you can always use something which is a perceived negative as a positive to help keep driving you forward and remember like if in like in my scenario if something is new to you and you feel kind of lost with it you're not entirely sure what you're doing with it and you're just agitated by the whole thing it's like it doesn't matter because over time, the more you practice it, it's, um, it's going to get better over time. And one of the things that you need to get better at something, we've talked about it before, is some strain and some confusion. You need to feel a little bit of agitation 
to actually get better at stuff. I like it, man. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Just shifting the perspective is so important, man. Mm. That's, um, yeah, because you just kind of unload yourself, hey? You, mm. It's all this kind of built up, built up, built up, built up kind of... Uh, That's it. Um, uncom discomfort around kind of just getting the thing done, getting the thing done. But this is all part yeah. of the process because exactly. if you basically the thing that you needed to get done was realize that it's cool, like I'm doing the work, I'm, and the fact that you actually have a higher expectation of yourself is a good thing, and that's what's yeah. causing the anxiety in the first place. So mm -hmm. it's it's almost like life's trying to make you learn that lesson as opposed to just getting it done because in getting it done. You wouldn't yeah. have learned this lesson. Say you just sat down, you were just the business supremo. It's like cool. Yeah, you would. You would have got the business thing done, but you wouldn't have had to face this thing in yourself, which would just come out in the wash somewhere else in your life. And mm. that, I think, that's really, really interesting. It's such, such a. Yeah. Uh, there's so many ways you can go off with this in terms of like yeah. how, I don't know, the universe or like life, life, this mm. like random thing that teaches you these things along the way, without mm. our awareness kind of like I believe in God or whatever like that 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 is that is that that is that, that you know what I mean like is, yeah, is yeah. that is that something up there trying to like oh this is this is this person like this for them to move forward and access more of themselves they're always in training but not the training you you, you think you're in like you yeah. I need to go and lift 140 kilos today cool yeah what's that going to get you really Bit more muscle on your butt, a bit more, bit more, a bit more gains in your quads. But it's the facing of the fear. It's the facing of the, of the intensity. It's the, it's the believe in yourself. Those are all the, other, dimensions in which you have to exist, and other things in which yeah. you have to kind of scale yourself, and uh, and just like, like you said, labeling it as this is bad. I'm in a bad place. Yeah. Is is it's not helpful, is it? Mm -hmm. Exactly. There's, um, you know, there's two things that came to mind there. One of them was a quote that I saw this week, and I don't know who it was by, uh, but it was, um, you know, the outcome you get from achieving your goal is nowhere near as important as the person you become by achieving yeah. your goal. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's the journey, not the destination, bro. That's it, yeah, right? It's the journey. It's always, it's always the journey. It's always, yeah, because yeah. like you, know, you, you arrive at that one destination. It's like you know, you can stay there, um, but you, you don't stay there by just stopping moving forward. <laughs> Actually, you, you you stay there by continuing doing the thing that got you there in the first place, and uh, and then the other thing is is uh, every time you want to level up, yeah, you're gonna be faced with something about yourself which uh, which you you might not have uh, seen before, yeah. um, and you're gonna have to deal with it. So in this instance, it's like okay, I'm dealing with a couple of things here, you know, what are they and it's like why like procrastination is a good sign that basically you've got resistance to something so it's like well, what's what's the resistance what is that about so if i sit and think about it it's like oh right okay um try and feel it as well it's not just thinking about it because you can always be in your head about something but when you actually get out of your head a little bit and you just experience what's happening in your body with the whole thing you're like oh right this is what's going on and this is what it's teaching me about myself and if i didn't decide that I want to level up on this front, then um, I'm not going to learn that, and I'm and I will have this block on me, which can affect other things mm. in my life. So instead, what I've done is I've realised that, and I'm trying to work through that. And by making the habit to work through that, I, I it will not be something that limits me anymore, and I'll be able to uh, excel in this field, which I can also take. To other things as well it's Drama. like and like and yeah the confidence that you get from doing something like that is the confidence you get from facing a part of yourself that you don't necessarily like or and uh and and being like yeah i did that you know i went there and it's like okay well nothing else is as scary or impossible to go there with because you know i faced i faced myself mm. it's the, the biggest challenge that i could have is uh, getting to grips with my being and the parts of myself that I don't like and just to accepting that and then moving forward from there. And then, yeah, everything else is actually starts to accelerate from there as well.